feeling into this excitement as we explore the intersection of spirituality and psychology, the the emotional and the spiritual, the heart, what it requires of us to integrate, right? To actually integrate is a heart opening experience if we let it. It is really amazing right now in our attunement training, people are working with this dynamic right now. We are into the uh, ful fulfilling mission virtue. This is the thymus gland, the area of the heart. And this is the spirit of purification, this energy that purifies, it moves in our conscious mind. It moves in our emotional realm. It moves down into the subconscious. And as we all know, this is where it can get tricky, right? When our subconscious and conscious mind are not integrated by the amazing, eternal, spiritually wise, loving being that is the truth of who we are. If we don't know that about ourselves, if we haven't opened our hearts to that, if we haven't allowed the fire, to burn, if we haven't allowed that to happen in our hearts, if we haven't allowed ourselves to soften in the ways that we see ourselves and each other, if we haven't allowed our hearts to do this deep opening to that highest love, it can be challenging to integrate those parts of ourselves that have been traumatized and maybe are distorted and moving in the world in a reactive and unconscious way. I know that this has been my experience and I right now am so privileged, so grateful to witness people having this experience right now because we are here with hearts open the willingness to let spirit purify so that we may integrate all those parts of not just ourselves but each other this is what it takes right this is what it takes and there is when we think of you know, psychology and spirituality as being separate things is like, mm, maybe in our, in some people's view, but to me, these are just parts of oneself. Oneself. One of the teaching tools that we use in primal spirituality is the sun cross. And guess what? It includes the emotional the mental, the physical, and the spiritual. And in that intersection of the cross, there's a circle, there's a wholeness that represents the wholeness that I am, the wholeness that you are, the wholeness that we are together. And so as we move into this hour and we move into this day and we move into our week, let's just be aware of our emotional realm, where our heart's at. Are we feeling open? Are we feeling love? Are we feeling gratitude? Are we judging ourselves and others? Are we irritated <laughs> about world events? Are we angry, right? It's like, we always have our hearts to guide us in, this such, in, in our lives and in this experience we're having together.